The Okavango Panhandle refers to the 70-kilometer stretch of the Okavango River directly above the Delta's iconic alluvial fan. The Panhandle is the source of all of the Delta's water in Botswana and stems from the Angolan Highlands. Its value to the immense biodiversity of Botswana cannot be overstated. Perennial waters wind their way through the arid northwestern regions of Botswana, encouraging and sustaining life as they go. Ancient inhabitants of the region have held this area sacred for a hundred thousand years. The nearby Tsodilo Hills shelter one of the oldest and largest indigenous rock painting collections in the world. It's here, situated between these two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, on a permanent water channel in the Okavango Panhandle, that we find Namasiri Island Lodge. Let's take a closer look. Namasiri Island Lodge is accessible by self-drive or light aircraft transfer only. Flights are available from the central hubs of Mao Nokasani as well as any of the other regional airstrips in northern Botswana. Tucked into the old growth forest of the Namasiri Island with sprawling views over the river, the lodge offers guests an exclusive sanctuary far from the busy crowds of high-density tourism areas. True to African tradition, a large open-air fireplace commands a central position on the deck, inviting guests to unwind before or after their evening meal. The beautifully crafted bar is set close to the main fireplace with an extended deck offering guests the opportunity to enjoy a private dinner in a tranquil and breathtaking setting. A secluded swimming pool is located just a short walk from the main area and offers guests a private and welcoming space to relax in the warm sunshine. Namasiri Island Lodge accommodates just 16 guests in 8 rooms on our private island. Tucked away under the canopy of ancient trees, each of the spacious tented rooms features double or twin configuration, freestanding fans and an open plan bathroom. Private viewing decks offer a place to relax between activities in complete privacy. There's one family room, featuring two bedrooms and a shared bathroom, ideal for families with small children. And one spectacular honeymoon suite, set away from the rest of the rooms with a beautiful view from the large private viewing deck. The Okabango Panhandle offers an insight into the blend of people and nature, showcasing coexistence and cohabitation in their truest forms. There are several activities on offer at the lodge that best showcase this. A one and a half hour transfer brings guests to the highlight of the Panhandle experience, the Tordilo Hills. This UNESCO World Heritage Site has been nicknamed the Louvre of the Desert, and for good reason but the local nickname is what truly captures the essence of the experience. The people of Botswana refer to Tsodilo as the Mountain of the Gods. Over 4,500 paintings have been preserved across just 400 sites on these four hills, cropping out of a 10 square kilometer area of the otherwise flat and endless Kalahari Desert. These depictions of life give an archaeological account of human activities and environmental changes over the last 100,000 years, with some of the oldest paintings believed to date back past 25,000 years. Guided by a local Tsodilo guide, guests are able to get up close to these incredible artworks and be mesmerized by the interpretations of what they mean and their significance to the culture. Guests have an option to hike a scenic trail to the top of the highest hill or stay low and circumnavigate on a journey back through time along the base of the hills where most of the paintings can be found. In contrast to the cool Namasiri waterways, Tsodilo is a dry, Kalahari, arid experience. At an additional surcharge, helicopter transfers are available to and from the lodge and Sodilo Hills. 
scenic flights over the Okavango Panhandle can extend the helicopter experience for the ultimate flight over the area. Namasiri Island Lodge is renowned for its world-class fishing experience. The nutrient-rich waters of the surrounding channels support a variety of fish species, but it's the tenacious tigerfish that brings and tests the prowess of avid anglers from all over the globe, both on fly and static line. Every year, fishing enthusiasts descend on the panhandle of the Okavango to experience the phenomenon that is, the barbel run. This occurs annually when small bait fish are forced from the floodplains back into the Okavango River as the water recedes during the months of August to November. Namaseri Island Lodge has a number of specialist fly fishing guides and specialized boats. The lodge keeps a good variety of basic equipment, but avid anglers are encouraged to bring their own. Guided walks on nearby islands give guests the chance to stretch their legs and quietly observe the plethora of birds and life the islands sustain. Boating safaris in the incredible deep water channels of the Panhandle are a great way to experience the diverse Okavango ecosystems. Gliding across smooth waters, it's a thrilling guessing game of what could be around the next bend. Whilst the whole of Botswana offers great birding, the Okavango Panhandle really is something special, with a mind-blowing variety of local and migratory species calling the channels and islands home. It's a birder's paradise. Private island lunches can be arranged on longer boating excursions. Afternoon Makoro excursions, silently enjoying life at water level, are available too. An authentic African safari is a perfect blend of experience and relaxation. Our typical day looks a bit like this. With the clear, deep waters of the Okavango Panhandle before it and the dry, arid Kalahari Desert behind it, Namasiri Island Lodge offers a unique spectrum of activities and experiences. It's a magical place, steeped in rich history of culture, cohabitation, community-based tourism and wilderness preservation. One of these would be reason enough to visit Together, they make it a once-in-a-lifetime destination. <laughs>